There's, there's one funny situation that seems to come up quite regularly in my life. I'm not sure if it's if it's something that you've noticed or, or have happened. But um, my name's not that unusual, Justin. Or at least not that unusual anymore. When I was younger it was more unusual, I think. But there's quite a few people these days called Justin. And, um, but still, I've often been called over the years various different other names like Julian or Jason, particular favourites of other people. And then sometimes I'm quite happy to be called Jason or Julian, to be honest. I, I don't know why I've never been that. I think they're both. You know, I've never been that bothered. I think they're both nice names as well. <laughs> and they begin with J. So as long as it begins with J, I'm happy, really. And, um, but sometimes I, I will correct people. Um, and I say, well, you know, no, my, my name's actually not Julian. It's Justin. And sometimes the people react in a really unusual way, a strange way, to, it seems to me. And they kind of act in a very surprised way. Like, oh, oh, no, is it? Is it really Justin? And I just find it really um, strange because, you know, it's almost as though they think I'm, you know, mucking around or something that I've maybe change my name or something in the meantime, even though, you know, they originally introduced to me as Justin and maybe they called me Justin a number of times prior to this. And then suddenly they switched to just Julian or, or Jason. Or sometimes there's another name, I can't remember it now. Jeremy has even happened. But again, J is cool. And, um, and they say, no, really? Like, surely not. You know, that can't be possible. And I'm like, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, really. You know, yes, it really is Justin. It always has been. And no, I didn't just change it. I, you know, it's sort of like... They can't, but it seems like they can't believe that they made the mistake. And I, I sometimes feel like saying, well, look, why don't you, you know, why don't you make a note of this day where you've made a mistake for once? Because I make loads of mistakes, you know. I mean, I've got mild dyslexia, so mistakes about names, dates, left and right, B's and D's. G's and P's are a very common occurrence. So maybe that's why I find it so surprising that they're so surprised that they made a mistake. Simple mistake. Well, we all make mistakes, we're all human. And then there, there, there's a more extreme version of this with my surname, which is quite interesting because I... Um, my name's Home, it's, it's pronounced Home, just like Home Sweet Home, and the home where you live, home where your heart is, but it's spelled H-O-L-M-E. Um, and um, I, was, I was on the phone with, you know, some bank or insurance company, or, and they were saying to me, the lady on the phone was saying to me, right, what's your name, please? And I said, Justin Home, H-O-L-M-E. And she said, oh, you mean home? I said, sorry? And she said, you, you mean home, Justin Home. And I said, <laughs> I was like a little bit shocked that somebody who i just met on the phone 30 seconds ago had, you know, decided that they knew how to pronounce my name better than I did. 
And I thought, well, how do I respond to this? And I thought, I know, I'll just, you know, try to say something a little bit witty that might make it clear the mistake she's making. So I said, um, home, home. Yes, I, I think you're right. Yeah, home. Yeah, that 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 makes much more sense because it's got an L in it, and you know, that must be yeah, home, home. Thank you very much. And she said, "Oh, you're welcome." <laughs> I was like, "Well, she still doesn't get this." So I thought, "Well, how can I how can I be even more sarcastic and facetious?" So I said, "Well." You know, I'm really grateful to you for pointing this out to me because I'm going to phone my grandmother right now. <laughs> I'm going to have to get off the phone, but I'm going to have to phone my grandmother right now just to let her know that she's pronounced her name wrong her whole lifetime. And she's 95 now, you know. In fact, I better phone my whole family. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> And she fortunately finally realised what she was doing. And um, it was only a bit later on that I, um, I uh, found out that the famous philosopher David Hume, and his name is now spelled H-U-M-E, but his name used to be spelled the same as my name, H-O-L-M-E. I think it was the same. And that is pronounced in Scotland, Hume, in Newcastle, where my where my grandmother comes from, on my father's side, where my name comes from, it's pronounced home. But in Scotland, it was pronounced Hume. And David Hume got so sick of people mispronouncing his name that he changed the spelling of it. And a famous philosopher was born. So there you go, what's in the name? <laughs>